Hello ladies and gentlemen. So um, for today's lecture I'm going to be teaching you how to do something very simple for a brand. It could be any brand. For today we're going to do something for Thompson Shawarma Spot. Just a little online flyer. So what we'll do is a shawarma company, it's a shawarma spot. So we're going to have to use a shawarma background so to speak. So I go to the gallery and then of course that's the shawarma I don't want to take this to pix art fine so there are a lot of things we could actually do with this first of all we could um, it depends basically before you get into something like this you must have thought about what you want to do now i'm going to be talking about the shawarma basically i'll just say thompson shawarma so very simple and then i'm going to give the address i'm going to put the phone number and um, the twitter and instagram handle one thing you need to understand is that for a design such as this you should um, understand your colors arrangement of of objects and shapes and all of you so because i already have something in mind I'll do that. I'm going to add a shape here. So just watch carefully. I'm going to insert a text, and this is what I'm going to use. I'll OK that. Now remember, I said color is very important. So while we are doing what we're doing, we're going to take cognizance of the colors that are in this shawarma, whatever just take a close look as I do what I do I took that <clears throat> I took the dash sign and I elongated it using the fonts I have here okay so I'm going to make this a color I'm going to change this color so I'm going to pick a color from here mm. this 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 looks nice looks nice but no I'm gonna do something else let's do this guess I'm gonna add another another shape so it could make it look a little bit more interesting now this is what I have in mind or what I've had in mind all this while so if we do something like this watch carefully Thompson shower my spot I'm still gonna make this this color because I have something else in mind of course all these are subject to editing you could always change depending on any new concept that comes to mind could always change no that'll be too bright Could still leave it at the white and then um, I would just have to reduce the opacity and then I might have to change this color because it could interfere with something So this is just a, li a little bit of how you could apply your color. You could just change either of this at any point. I want to change this. Do that. I change that color again. So you see all that is possible from here. Okay. So we're talking about the Thompson's Shawarma Spot, and uh, I've already added the logo here. 
if you want to know how i added this logo we're going to be having a master class very soon so you have to register for that and i'll teach you all that how to do this logo you know it's a very simple thing anyway so let's go back to the texting i've already written down the address for so all you need to do is just put that address you've written it all down okay i'm going to choose a color remember i said color is very important so something that is going to is going to highlight the whole thing and then of course the font you want to use a font that would express what you have in mind and it should be as bold as possible you okay, know we could do this do this in two way bring this down okay so that will achieve something like this now this is just a rough whatever you could do it like this you could elongate it depending on what you want so we're still on it. I'm I'm gonna add his Instagram and his Twitter handle to this. Of course, um remember trying to manage space at the same time we're trying to make sure everything is visible. Okay. We have placed that okay let me add this phone number very important so if you're seeing this design if you're seeing this tutorial uh you should get uh oh is that a battery low anyway if you're seeing this you should try to get your shawarma from thompson he's good i know what i'm saying ah the shawarma tastes so nice they should try to get from him and of course I'm typing his number so you should call him so now his number is what we want to make very obvious even though it's not as obvious as it should be because of the size of the font I'm using but it's, it's okay Bring that down, bring that down. We could have it here. We could have it here. And there you go. This is just something very temporary. You could just use for the time being. And this is just something sketchy. We'll do something huge later. Okay, still on the Thompson Shawarma spots design i have another concept i'm going to use this shawarma the first one i used was this one but i'm going to use this one and i have something else in mind this time around i'm going to use, I'm going to use a shape i'm going to overlay a shape on this particular picture and then i'm going to reduce the opacity of the shape and do my write up on it let's go I'm going to add the shape by putting um, a, a dash sign. That dash sign is going to give me that square shape I need. With this font, we're going to have a perfect sh Just have to elongate it and shape it to fit this. I'm not going to cover it entirely. Just leave some space up there and up there. Okay. I think this is just going to be nice. Oh, bother. Okay, this is good. Now I want to change the color to fit something already in. Uh, something. Uh, I need something catchy. Let's say. We'll have to increase this. We could do it like this, so we could leave it like this. Ah, ah, green. Let's see what will happen if I decide to pick a color. 
Let's say I pick green. Yeah, green is too. It's too somehow. Ah, where are my colors? So. Okay, I've decided to do some use this color and all. So we're gonna start writing any moment from now. Okay, so I have another logo concept for Thompson Shawarma Spot. This this is what it looks like. Okay, so don't be afraid. I'm not gonna fill this whole place up with it. I will just blend this so all those white spots go away. And I'll try to fit it in here somewhere such that everybody gets to see everything. Mm. Uh, let's just leave the white. But we're going to have to crop it. We're using the crop tool to achieve that. So we're still going to add the the address. Very important. Uh, we're going to change the font. Let's keep it. Let's still maintain this font we we're using. Uh, yeah. Since there's not too much to write, I just have to bring this logo down a bit okay there's something else i could do here are we using the white yeah white is okay well you could use any color you want but i just use white so there you go i just added the shadow to it and then I'm gonna add his phone number. Okay, so something very simple. I just had to change that color. I had to change the color of this to black. And then his number, and then this is just it. This, this is okay for him for now. Just something simple to explain his business and bring it to the limelight, you know. He could use this to do some form of Facebook adverts, Twitter adverts. And remember when you're doing Facebook sponsored adverts, you don't need too much write-up on your graphic work. Something like this is just okay for him.